Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, Bradley Allen Hensley. And this is a video, honestly, truthfully, I never, ever, in 998 billion, 999,999,999,000, 999 years thought I would ever have to make. But damn, if the fucking dems ain't making me make it to any fucking way. In California, the state, local, and federal fucking judge has taken away in Ventura County people's second fucking amendment right. This clearly fucking shows what the Dems and the fucking globalists are truly after. They're after power. They're after our fucking subjectivity. How do they get this? They take our guns and then they take our rights and force us to obey because they will have weapons we will not. That that is how they operate. I never thought I'd have to say this to fellow Americans, let alone those that are elected into office. But, hey! Fuckheads, you, yeah, Democrats, you, do me a favor, will you? Come closer, come closer, come closer still. Come on, closer, closer. All right, there's good. A little closer, a little closer. All right, stop. Wake up! Stop being such a fucking dick. You see, Democrats, what will happen is simply this. You won't get your way. Not at all. But what will happen is real Americans like myself will rise up. Use the very weapons you want to take. And once again... Fight our government because we know what's right. That is what will happen, Democrats. You are pushing for a second civil war. Why? So that your friends, the UN, can step in and help you. Well, I got news for you, Democrats. Your friend, the UN, won't be able to do shit against all of us true patriotic Americans. You see, when we took our oath of office, and this is to all my veteran brothers and sisters, when we took our, office, our oaths of service, we were not just making a promise to obey orders to those above us. No, 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 no. We were not even making a promise to God. We were making a promise to always stand and watch the stand and watch the wall. Be there to defend the line to each 
and every single red-blooded American. We swore that we would defend them. That's why there's no such thing as an ex-Marine or an ex-Navy man or an ex-Air Force man or an ex-Army man. You are servicemen and women from the day we take that oath of office to the day we die. Now, we might be out of the military, yep. But that oath, if we took it and we meant it, that oath means we owe the people of the United States, the citizens of this country, to stand firm and fight to keep their rights. And I, for one, will do so until my dying breath. I, for one, am willing to give my last full measure of devotion so that liberty shall not perish from this earth. And that's the truth. And to you fucking Dems and globalists and UN backers and all that, well, my message is quite fucking simple. You want to take my weapons? Come ahead. I'll give you my weapons. The fucking business end of them. And then I'll take your weapons and use them against others. I am an American. I am a honorably discharged serviceman. I am ex-special forces. I am an alpha type red blooded red white and blue coursing through my veins and my body American and I will die an American a free American a free man you see our Constitution states that we have certain inalienable rights. That means no one can take them away. The right of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, life means to live. Liberty means to live free. Pursuit of happiness means that we can pursue things that make us happy. Pretty self-evident. Pretty